so just as a as a simple example, so the 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 training sessions, you know, for me, uh, you know, as as a, a researcher, you know, I I come into it understanding, you know, just enough about both worlds to get me into trouble, and so I. I really, you know, need to, to very keenly understand the technical limits and the process boundaries of even any given tool and what it what it's capable of doing, deposition rates and the, the different kinds of you know materials that you can say you know sputter or evaporate, because I'm charged with essentially facilitating, uh, you know that that kind of research for for a, a gads of different users as opposed to say one one particular thrust or one research group. I have to make sure that everybody in the building can can do their their work or everybody on the campus for that matter. And so I, I have to understand those those quite well, and and moreover I also wear the the mechanic hat. So if anything ever goes down, or if it needs preventative maintenance, or if something is just not not quite working how it's supposed to to, to do, I need to be able to take the panels off and, and get to the guts of the tool and, and know how to do it safely and, and and essentially, you know, coordinate with the with the vendor to make sure that we can keep the tool you know, with as much uptime as possible. And so that was really what what drew me to Angstrom in the first place is the the level of service and connectivity to their to their customers. And the you know just the like I said you know a answering emails in the in the middle of the night and trying to you know help help you troubleshoot from you know from afar the uh, you know the the detail oriented training sessions that we had when we were setting up the tool and you know first learning how to run it and how to customize it you know for our, our specific applications all of that was just sort of above and beyond from what I had seen that uh, you know that interaction is really what what made me sort of a I guess a, a diehard customer from from here on out so in any case. Uh, I guess one of the best examples is that uh, we had a, a, one of our vacuum gauges on our, on our on an older PVD system that, that we had been using, uh, and the, the next step tool that I was using in my previous position. Uh, it ended up, uh, you know, cutting out. And even though we were a couple of months out of our service contract, you guys just shipped us one immediately. And that, that's you know that's something like a thousand dollars, which you know doesn't seem like a whole lot, but for for somebody who's you know working at a you know on a, on a university budget. You know, getting that kind of sort of immediate and and sort of unquestioning support, that that really means a lot to, to come through for, you know, for someone who has to support you know twenty different users on a tool. And so that's uh, those are the kinds of things that I think help you know companies stand out. And of course, you know, bringing that uh, you know that technical expertise to bear, I can I can tell you know when you take the panels off of an Angstrom tool that everything is laid out very well. The the process control loop is set up to you know to sort of maintain safety and the health of the tool. And it's all sort of very, very straightforward. The the very little amount of maintenance I've ever had to do on on your tools is is easy to do because everything is labeled and everything is is laid out in a very cohesive fashion. And you know during the uh, you know during the installations and the the site visits, you know the, the the field engineers share that with you, and so they they sort of empower you to you know keep keep this asset you know up up and running.